Hi everyone, Jordan Goldmeyer here. What is the easiest way to connect two different data sets along one key? I'm gonna show you how to do it with Power Query. Stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome back to an all new episode of Excel TV. Now last week I showed you a very complicated solution on how to uh, bring together two different data sets. It was super complicated, it was very formulaic, and also it was wrong. So if you wanna see what I did, you can go ahead and take a look. I think it's actually up over here, over here. Um, you can go take a look at what I did. Now, it's a very complicated solution. I talk about why it's wrong in the notes on the blog, so you can go check that out. But I also promised that there'd be a much easier way, and that way is with Power Query. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the file from last week, and I'm gonna show you how to bring together two different data sets. If you've done any sort of work in Axis, things like that, any sort of SQL work, tables, um, bringing together. We're going to really just follow along with that, and Excel gives us a way to do that. So let's go take a look in the spreadsheet. Let's hit it. Now, before I do anything else, make sure if you want to get awesome Excel tips, uh, tricks, things like that, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below on this video. So just want to remind you to do that before we go forward. Let's take a look at this. So last week I showed you that I had a database, and here we have the full database. Look, that's 100,000 records in here. And let's say I have another list. Uh, people came to my workshop. People came to my website. I want to find out something about them. So I call this the report step because there's some aspect of this that I'm going to be reporting out. So how do I pull this information that's over here and match it against over here? Well, one way we could do that is with VLOOKUP. But I want to show you how to do it very, very quickly and also how to use Power Query to think about it, right? So the first thing I want to do here is actually turn these both into a table. So I'm on my database tab, I'm gonna hit Control T, my table has headers, that's what I want. I'm gonna get rid of banded rows because I hate banded rows. So I'm gonna go ahead and click database over here and over on my report step over here, these are all the names I want reported out. Doesn't really matter where I click, I'll hit Control T in here, my table has headers. I'm gonna call this report step, I'll hit enter on that. So once I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data over here. I'm going to click queries and connections. Um, it, no, there's nothing in it just yet because I need to add these to Power Query. So let's go ahead and uh, add these to Power Query. So on my database tab, I'm going to go anywhere within this table. That's fine. I'm going to click from table and range. And you see that it's being added to Power Query. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to go to close and load like that. So you see my database has been connected. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna click from table and range on this one here. All right, we're in. I'll hit close and load. Now, I am. I know I made a mistake last week, but I'll also admit here, I'm still learning Power Query, man. I went to Ken's course, it was awesome, but if you see any way I could do this better, I'm always open to listening. So I'm gonna go over here to where it says report step and I'm gonna click merge. So we're gonna do what's called a merge query on this. So I right clicked it, I went to merge, and I have the report step. I'm gonna match this name column against, let's go to database, I'm gonna click full name right here. So these two are gonna match against each other and I'm gonna do a left outer join. So you can see it matched the exact amount of rows um, with that table. I'll go ahead and hit okay on that. And this is gonna bring up the Power Query Editor. Check this out. So it's saying it matched within this table. I'll go click on this Expand button here. Do I wanna select all the columns? Well, I don't need the full name, right? But I am reporting back email, gender, and IP address. So I'll go ahead and click Enter on that. And as you might recall, IP address was uh, in the center here, right? So it was database, dot, or excuse me, it was right here. So we have name, we have database.email address, database.ip address dot gender. If you don't like these names, you want to rename them, you can always just type an email here. I'm going to hit rename on this one. IP address. I'll hit enter on that one. And I'll rename this one here and select gender. And you know, I'm a little torn because when I do work in R, I usually name my columns lowercase. But when I do it in Excel, sometimes I make it uppercase. So it's really up to you what you want to do. All right. But now that I really like this, now that I'm happy with it, what I can do is I can go and click close and load to, not just close and load because I want to put it into a new, um, I want to put it into a new worksheet. So let's click table here and I'll just have it uh, go to a new worksheet. I'll hit okay on that. And you see that it's actually processing this. So look how much quicker that was. It was pretty quick. Spent very little time on it. 
What's really cool about this, and I'm going to double click this down here and hit final just so I remember where it is. I'll put that at the rightmost. The cool thing here is it really um, doesn't matter what I put over here. I can change this, so I'm going to right click. Let's try that again. I'll just go down here. I'm just going to just take a big chunk of these out, right? So I'll um, let's do this a better way. I'll hold shift um, and right click on the on the rows right there. So I'll hit delete. So let's say I, I've just changed my data to look like this. I don't need to report as many people or I have a whole new problem I want to do, but I want to use the same database, right? So I can go over here to final and I can just click refresh and you see it works automatically. So that's pretty cool. Works a lot faster than the formula method that I proposed before. It even look, works a lot faster when you do it correctly the way that I didn't do it, but that's fine anyway. In any case, I just wanted to show you how to do that. This is one of the most awesome features that Power Query has. It's one that a lot of people aren't even using yet. So for more tips, features, news, Excel awesomeness, check awesomeness, check us out at Excel TV. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, <clears throat> also at Excel.tv, and also here on YouTube where we post videos most Tuesdays of every month. Can't wait to see you then. Check us out. This is Jordan Goldmeyer with Excel TV. Thanks everyone for watching me, and until next time, keep on excelling. Thanks everyone.